Good morning, everybody. How are you? Yesterday was kind of a crazy and busy day. Um, we had three shipments in from uh, three different companies, and um, we had a really nice group of ladies here from visiting me from the villages. So it was pretty hectic all day. Um, not too much downtime. So you know the routine. I'm a little bit tired trying to get everything done. Um, first things first, uh, I have a date for Stitch Happens. This is the free quilt along that we're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to do it on Mondays, Monday mornings, about on 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, cause then nobody's in here and I won't get interrupted too much, but you have to promise me that if I'm not dressed perfectly, <laughs> Because Mondays is usually my, you know, uh, sweatpants and t-shirts and comfy days. You won't hold it against me. So we're going to start May 6th, which is a Monday, next uh, week from less than a week away. Today is the first. So Monday at 10 a.m., um, we'll start with the first set of blocks. Now remember, you need the pattern because I'm not going to teach, tell you any sizes of the pat of the blocks, what to cut the strips, nothing like that. Um, it's just not fair to the designers, so you need to pick up a pattern. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. We're going to start off with live, live streaming on Facebook, and I will post them to YouTube. So um, I will make sure to post another link today to my YouTube account so that you can subscribe if you'd like. Um, we can't do live streaming on YouTube yet until we have a thousand subscribers. So please, if you haven't subscribed yet, um, go ahead and subscribe. I'm just hoping this is the first of many quilt alongs that I do with you. Um, if you've got any ideas on what you want to learn that maybe I can teach you after Stitch Happens, feel free to leave me a message on Facebook or email me, Kathy's Quilt Studio at yahoo.com. All right, on to the good stuff. What you're really waiting for is all the fabric. Uh, the first line of boutiques is by Anthology. It's from their quintessential line. Um, you've heard me say it before, but I'm going to tell you again. These are six yard bolts because the line is rather big. So I only grab six yard bolts and that way I can get the entire line, every color, every pattern. So this is the first one. And this is kind of a cross between a gray and a green, or maybe a little bit of blue in it. Um, oops. We have that same fabric in a nice neutral tan and cream. I can't wait to show you what I got from Banyan Batiks, which is uh, Northcott's Batik line they are gorgeous we have a black and white we have a brown with small flowers and the flowers are done in a tan color this one is yellow on a red isn't that pretty nice bright yellow tulips and yes they are tulips tossed tulips aren't they pretty we've got this orange so that's yellow I want to say freesia um, flowers but that might not be right on um, an orange background and we have a nice green I believe they're calling this chartreuse We have another green, except this is roses. Isn't that fun? These are all the different prints that are in this line. So you're gonna see them over and over just in different color combinations. This looks, kind of reminds me of palm, uh, palm fronds. Well, we've got some pretty like baby's breath in 
kind of a pink, patina pink and a peach. More roses, except these are green roses on a teal background. How pretty is that? Good morning, Barbara. Now remember, these are all from Anthology. And the last one from Anthology is more palm fronds and greens. Okay, the next one I'm gonna show you is by Robert Kaufman, and I'm not sure how this is gonna show up on the camera, but these are pearl. They remind me of, um, of um, cracked paint. Uh, they, they're called um, calistip, cali yeah, blah, 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 can't talk today. Um, they're from the line that's Calistella, and here's what we've got. This one's an ivory. Oh yeah, you can see the pearl. See that, the, what looks like cracked paint? That's actually a pearl. So it's a really fun texture, tone on tone, with that little pop of pearl color. So we've got it in ivory. We've got it in this kind of mint green, light blue. Isn't that pretty? I really, really like this. This is a light blue. It almost looks like stone or paint. I don't know, it's really a very, very cool looking texture. We have it in a navy blue. Now you really can see the pearl and looks like cracked paint in this one for sure. Isn't that pretty? And the final one is a dark teal. I love those. And they actually go really, really well with the batiks that I got from um, Banyan Batiks. All right, this line is called Island Vibes. And this is a cream neutral batik with these really fun peel blue green turtles. Yes, they're all turtles, but we all love the turtles. Don't ask me why, but we do. Now, just for laughs and giggles, and I know some of you are purists and don't like to mix fabrics, but I don't mind mixing batiks and non-batiks. But look at that. Now, this is the, the pearl that we just got. And this is the batik that we just got. Or if you want something a little bit more color, what about that? So I think they will do really, really well. Now this one is cream neutral turtles on a fun, bright teal background. Isn't that beautiful? I really like these turtles. They were done very, very well. Very realistic, not, not um, cartoony. Here is another one, which is a light blue turtle on another blue background. Thanks, Barbara. I really like them. As I was unpacking them yesterday, they were already being bought by a couple of customers. Okay, this one is white turtles on a green and blue background. Isn't that pretty? I really, really like them. Okay, that's all the fabric that I have for you today. Um, I posted a sneak peek of what's coming in Friday from Quilting Treasures, which is, uh, Amer it's called American Pride. So it's got one, um, looks like fireworks displayed in blue. And then it's got three tone on tones, which are um, really, really nice. I like them, they're eagle tone on tones. So one is like a cream tan, the other one is two different shades of blue. And the last one is not your traditional red. It's more, um, leans I think towards maroon, 
which is, it goes really well with some of the other um, patriotic fabrics that we have in here. So those will be in here sometime on Friday, not sure exactly when, but I would say at the very minimum, um, definitely before 3 p.m. Um, on the schedule, and the newsletter will be going out today, but the schedule's already been posted. So a couple of classes that I wanted to, um, a couple of things that I wanted to point out. Hoop Sisters starts on, on uh, June 1st. So if you haven't tried an In the Hoop quilt or one of Hoop Sisters quilts, um, this is really the most economical way to try it. Um, I give a free class every single week. I think it's only going for four weeks, this, this mystery quilt. So every Wednesday morning at 10 a.m., if you come in here, or um, maybe not 10, let's say one o'clock. One o'clock. Give people time to wake up, <laughs> including me. Um, every Wednesday after the um, start, after the first of June. If you come in at one o'clock, I will help you with the blocks for that week. I will help show you what you need to do. Um, if you can't download your files, now here's the way it goes. You're gonna start a, an account with Hoop Sisters. You're gonna pay for the mystery quilt. $89, which includes the borders. Now, that doesn't include the fabric, but trust me when I tell you, this is gonna go well over $200 at the end of the mystery quilt just for the designs. Um, you pay for the mystery quilt. You download the fabric key. If you can't download the fabric key, that's okay, come on in here. I have it here. So we'll pick out the fabric. And one of the other reasons why it's the most economical way to try this is it's usually not that big of a quilt. You usually have two block options, a five inch block or an eight inch block or a seven inch block, something like that. I think it's eight inch. Um, so you don't need as much battleizer, thread, or fabric to get this quilt done. We doesn't mean it's gonna be, it, it has to stay a small quilt. Nine out of 10 times, we can add additional um, blocks around the center or something like that and make it even bigger if you want. So you order it from Hoop Sisters. Now when you make your account, the only thing I ask is that you put me down as your Hoop Sister store. That way I'll get credit for it. If you can't download the files, every week they're gonna dump the files into your account. If you can't download the files or you have problems downloading the files, just come to me on that Wednesday or before, show me a receipt showing that you actually paid for the mystery quilt and have me down as your Hoop Sister store and I will gladly download the files for you. I have will have all the files. Um, and then I will walk you through step by step. If you need help picking out fabric or threads, I've been doing hoop stitches for quite a few years now. Um, even I don't know what the mystery quilt's gonna look like, but I can kind of steer you in the right direction as far as fabric according to the fabric key. It's a lot of fun. It's a great way to learn your machine. You're gonna be doing all kinds of things. Most, and, and I don't know what this one's gonna look like, but most of the time you're doing applique, you're doing um, piecing in the, the hoop, you're doing quilting. You will really learn your machine backwards and forwards. Um, plus, the classes that I give you to help are all free. It doesn't cost you a dime. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we have an awful lot of fun. Um, I have posted some past year's uh, mystery quilts if you're still on the fence and they're always, always gorgeous. Um, so that starts June 1st. Also, we are doing a, um, or Linda is teaching a portfolio project mesh bag. This is a one day class. We only have it once this month and it is on the 21st. Um, that is done with the pet mesh. I will have specific um, cut, already cut pet mesh here if you don't have it and would like to purchase it from me. It's not going to be super expensive because it's not an expensive product. But that's going to be a real fun and I, po will po I forgot the bag. What else is new? I always forget things. Um, so I will post a picture of that bag just to give you an idea. 
you don't have to use what we're using. She happens to be using uh, Laura, past Lorelei fabric. Um, it's got a pretty good size center that you can highlight a specific fabric. So, you know, the Lorelei with the larger blocks really, really works well, but it, it doesn't have to be that. You can do anything you want. Um, I have two versions. One is a men's version, which we've got airplanes on that she had made for her husband. So it's not just a woman's class. It's not just for the ladies. So if we have any men that haven't worked with pet mesh out there and want to try it, this is a one day class and it is scheduled for um, May 21st at 10 a.m. And Kathy is uh, teaching two one day classes, the same class. It's gonna be decorative beaded buttons and it's hand sewing. Um, she has all the kits and I will be posting pictures today of some of those buttons. They're um, not just for clothing. Uh, if you want to, if you need a button for a bag, what a beautiful option because it's beaded. If you want to put some something special on a quilt, you know, like a lot of the row by rows that I do, all the row by rows that I do have buttons decorative buttons so it's a nice decorative feature it's gonna be a fun and a beautiful class so there she's gonna it's a one-day class and she's doing giving you two options to attend one is gonna be um, May 16th at 1 p.m. and the second one is May 30th at 1 p.m. Um, for embroidery I've already posted pictures I believe because I've already set an event on Facebook but we're doing a um, in the hoop embroidered standalone lace. Now, I'm gonna also show you how to do a clutch for that lace in the hoop. But if you just wanna learn lace, you've never done lace in your embroidery machine, this is your opportunity. And I will also provide you with the specific um, water soluble stabilizer that you'll need this way we don't have any issues with people bringing in the wrong one or the wrong thickness because this is actually one of those times when you're going to want a little bit thicker um, water soluble than probably most of you have um, and that class is being held multiple times throughout the month just because i wanted to give everybody an opportunity uh, the first class is tuesday the 7th at 1 then we're going to have it's a one day class so it's a quick option um then we're going to do it on let's see uh the 17th at one the 31st at one i think that's it so you've got four options three or four options to take that class um i think that's it now again don't forget stitch happen starts next monday at 10 a.m so please bear with me if i'm not dressed like i normally am because mondays is usually my sweatpants day <laughs> all right does anybody have any questions anything you know where i am today is stitching bitch day you know what that means you stitch i bitch so come on down and sit and sew with us. I always have coffee, tea, and water available, and it's usually a good time no matter who's here. I never know who's gonna show up, when they're gonna come, but it's usually a good time no matter what. So I hope everybody has a great day, and you know where I'll be. I'll be here. Bye, everybody.